Hey guys, it's Austin here, and today I got another video for you, and today we're doing top 5 worst games on the PS Vita. But before we get into it, if you want to see other top 5 games just like this one, after the video, make sure to check out my top 5 playlist, where I have videos like top 5 best games on PS Vita, top 5 most disappointing games on PS Vita, and top 5 cancelled games on PS Vita. But if you check out the playlist and there's some top 5 videos that you think I should possibly do in the future, Make sure to comment it down below on any one of those videos, or you can just comment it here. That would be the best chance for me to see it, because this is my most recent upload. It's going to get more of my attention than videos I uploaded months ago. Also, make sure to like and subscribe, and turn on the post notifications, the little bell icon next to the subscribe button, so you never miss another upload, and you're the first one here, and you can be the first one to my live streams, and I always shout you out when you're the first one there. Anyway, let's just get right into the video with our number 5 spot, Little Deviants. This game is the microtransaction king. Don't be fooled by Little Deviants. It sounds like a child's game. Oh, it is, but um, they still want to reach into mom and dad's wallet because you can go to the PlayStation Plus tab on the store and every single month, every single possible transaction, more than half of the list for the PlayStation Plus like list of uh, discounts or free games, more than half of the things on there are trans microtransactions for little deviants and it's actually sickening that there's that many different microtransactions you can buy and that they want you to buy it that bad that they put it on sale every single month and this is the one game that makes use of all the crappy Vita gimmicks it has like the front touchpad the back touchpad and the motion sensor oh my god i hate the fucking motion sensor don't even get me started nope don't even get me started. I was playing Uncharted, and I just wanted to lean to my side when I was aiming at a guy. Oh, where did my aiming go? To the side I leaned to, because I moved the Vita. God forbid I want to move the Vita when I'm playing the game. Jesus, I, I'm not a fucking statue. Anyway, enough ranting. It seems like more of a game for, like, a press conference to kind of show off the Vita, like, right off a of release, and show, like, the new additions on how it's different compared to the PSP. It just doesn't seem like a game that would ever have a community on the Vita and that would ever like really matter in any debate when they say oh buy a PS Vita we got tons of games yeah like little deviants right no that's it's never gonna happen like that and that's why it's our number five spot but coming in with our number four spot we have a game that I'm almost certain I put on the top five most disappointing games on the PS Vita this one Marvel Super Heroes Universe in Peril or Peril I think it's Peril yeah Apparel. because i bought it and it was like 20 30 dollars because i was younger and i still like Yo lego games lego games are really fun and it's fun to get trophies on there and kind of grind for 100 on there and that was the plan i was like hey this is a game that can keep my attention for a long time because it's going to be a normal lego game lego game you know i'll be able to uh like swap back and forth to the characters whenever i want but uh, little did I know when I bought the game, you can't do that. Okay, I was playing as Hawk on the first mission, story time, because this actually scarred me. And in the top right, it had the little icon for Iron Man. And I was like, hey, I'm feeling like being Iron Man. You know, I don't want to be Hawk right now. I'll be Hawk later. I tapped the Iron Man thing. It wasn't working. And as I went through the level, I noticed that the Iron Man thing was like there was getting a circle around it. And I was like, oh, it's a meter. I have to charge up the ability to swap to someone. That's retarded. And then when it was finally full and I clicked the icon, I realized that you can't play as two people. You only play as one. Because when I clicked it, Iron Man flew over me, dropped a bomb to kill the enemies around me, and he left. And I was still Hulk. I think this game is so bad because I expected so much more. But it's not even that. Like, the story and the overall gameplay and quality of the game was just extremely, like, lackluster. It didn't have anything that the other LEGO games didn't have. And if it had something the LEGO games had, the LEGO, the real LEGO games already did it better. And for our number three spot, we have Silent Hill Book of Memories. Yet another disappointing game, but I don't think it was disappointing enough for the list because I saw it and I still didn't believe in it because Silent Hill, let's be honest, hasn't been good for like 10 fucking years. Let's, let's be real here. It hasn't been good since like the PS2. And the game, it wasn't terrible, like some of these games on here, but it wasn't good, and it was really disappointing. 
and just the bad graphics and the bad audio quality all together just made the whole game not scary and it kind of defeats the purpose of buying or playing the game because it's a horror game you're supposed to play it and get scared and get a little adrenaline rush like man that felt good that's why people play horror games so they can get that feeling of adrenaline when they're like running from something or hiding from something and you can't really get this when it looks like you're hiding from a fucking polygon you know it just doesn't work out so that's why that is our number three spot but for our number two spot we have a game okay this game could have easily been the number one game on this list if the number one wasn't so god awful we have Adventure Time, but it's a 99 cent game, and this guy, you know, he decided to buy it, and I made that mistake because I was like, hey, you know, I got 99 cents on my PlayStation Store thing, what else am I going to buy? Why not? So I buy it. I finished the game in about an hour, <laughs> and it's it's just extremely short, and the storyline, we're just going to pretend like it didn't have a storyline because it barely did. And when you go to this game, normally when you buy something digital or before you buy it, you go to rate it. It's like, oh, you have to buy it digital in order to rate it. You, I have Killzone on chip, but I still can't rate it on the PlayStation Store because I didn't buy it digital. I bought this game digital and I want to go rate it a one out of five to show people that this game fucking sucks. Stay away from it so they don't waste 99 cents. That could have been like a pack of gum at the dollar store, but I spent it on this. So I wanted to warn people. And I went to rate it, and there's no rate. Like, there's no place to rate the game on its little page on the PlayStation Store. And I wish I would noticed that before, because that really tells you something about it. It's so bad. They don't want people warning others how awful that game is. But, of all these games that I've mentioned on the list, and all the games you're thinking about off the list, there's one game one game that is the worst game on any console but it just so happened to be on ps vita it's abe's animals this game literally you open it up it's like you have a camera it's like you open the camera on the ps vita and that's bad enough <laughs> let's not even bring that into it but you go in abe's animals <clears throat> and you select an animal and then it opens up the camera and it's like VR. You can move the Vita around and it'll have the animal and you can tap the animal and it'll move. You can like zoom in on the animal and it'll move. And you can like move the Vita around and guess what? You move it to the left, you won't see the animal. But if you move back to the right, you'll see the animal. Isn't it so fun, right? I know this gameplay that I'm describing and you're seeing it's just, it's given me a rush. I can't wait till I open the game. I'm probably going to play it before the video is done. You just tap it. You pinch it. Like, that's that's all. That's all you do the whole game. And you're thinking, man, if that's all you do, I, I really might spend, like, what, the 3 or $4 to get it just to get an easy platinum trophy. Nope, good try. I tried it. Doesn't have trophies. Good luck getting a real platinum trophy. Oh, just talking about these games just made me so angry that they actually exist and made me even more mad that these games are representing the PS Vita and just the way the world works. These are the games people see instead of the games like Uncharted or Killzone. They see this and they're like, yeah, Vita is a piece of shit, isn't it? So I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, turn on post notifications. And like I said, make sure to check out the playlist of all the top fives watch all of them don't even watch a few watch all of them and you know just stick around for a while you know just come on just, i'll be back in the next video go grab a snack and come right back all right i'll see you later have a wonderful day